You tell him, I like this old shape, but I still want to look like Tyler Perry. Imagine for me, imagine with me, how do you think that would be possible? He needs to destroy your hair shape to make you look like Tyler Perry. And we need to die to ourselves to be able to look like Jesus. You can't keep looking like yourself and be able to look like Jesus. And your inability to look like Jesus will cost you a lot. The second reason why we need to die to ourselves is to be able to walk in the will of God. The will of God is his best plan for us. And as children of God, we want to walk in his will. Many people are crying about God's will and praying that may the will of the Lord be done. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But interestingly, if you don't die to self, you can't walk in the will of God. The truth is that you may be praying for something currently. I don't know what you are seeking for right now. But if you don't die to self, you may miss it. Let's say you are asking God for a job. And you're somebody who likes sleeping. And you've not dealt with this attitude of, I want to be comfortable, I want to have enough sleep. Right? You're likely to miss an interview if you don't kill this part of you. Because some interviews come on very short notice. And if you don't die to self, God's will for your life may tarry because you've missed some opportunities. If you don't check some attitudes, you drive away some destiny helpers. So you need to die to yourself. Lastly, I'd want you to also realize that you can lose some rights and some authority if you don't die to self. Let's learn from two biblical stories. The first is Esau. Esau was the brother of Jacob. And Esau lost his birthright for a muscle of food. What is a plate of steel and rice compared to your birthright and its accompanying blessings? Would you trade food for God's blessings? Your answer might be no. But if you don't die to self, You'll be eating whilst God is asking you to fast. And that can cost you some blessings. The second person I want us to learn from is Saul. Saul was a great king. But he wanted to please the people. He wanted to save his face. I would say. So he was supposed to make a sacrifice. Actually, he was supposed to wait for someone to come and perform a sacrifice. When they were about to fight the Philistines. In first Samuel. And... The Bible records that Saul told Samuel when Samuel arrived that the people were dispersing. I was afraid I was going to lose all of them. So I decided to perform the sacrifice. And since then, the kingdom was being taken away from Saul. Think about it. God asked Saul to go kill all the Amalekites. And Saul decides to keep some people. Why? Because... Some of the, the cattle were looking too nice. The gold was shining. And that cost him the whole kingdom. Let's compare the cattle he had as a king to the cattle he found in the land of the Amalekites. Or the gold and silver he was receiving as a king to those few pieces of gold and silver he found in the land of the Amalekites. If he had just given up and obeyed God completely, would have saved himself a lot of trouble. But he lost his authority because he hadn't died to himself. So people out there, you need to die to self. How would you die to self? I would end this by just giving you some few tips and some advice to die to self. Even as you do this introspection and think about your life, you realize that dying to self involves reckless obedience. Reckless obedience means obeying without considering the consequences. Prayer is a way to also die to self. The more you speak to God, the more you commune with the Father, the more you come before Him truthfully and sincerely and tell Him that, Lord, this is me, this is at all. I have an issue with sleep. I think I like to have my way sometimes. I think I like to do things that you've not asked me to do. 
and I need your help. And lastly, the word of God is our help. As we keep reading, as we keep studying, we are transformed. The word of God is able to transform all lives. As we stare diligently into the mirror of truth, our failures are exposed and we are able to work on them truthfully. So my advice for you, think about your life. Consider your Christian work. Is Jesus the Lord of your life? You are still living by yourself. Die to self and enjoy your Christian work. God bless you. I hope you liked today's video. We will come your way soon. Stay here.